Hello friends, today we are going to do quick revision of CBSE class 10 maths chapter number 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. In 9th standard we had learned pair of linear equation in one variable. What we were doing there? We were putting some values of x and finding the y or we were putting some values of y and finding the x. We were finding such four solution and then we were representing that solution coordinate on the graph and we were getting a line like this or that somewhere we are getting a line like this and that was line graph now in 10 standard we they had given us two equations so with the help of two equation we can get a perfect solution look here in 9 standard we were getting a line but no perfect solution so here by solving that two equation we will get two lines and with the help of that two lines we will get solution but again there are three condition when we are drawing two lines what will happen sometimes we will get two lines like this this will be your one line and this will be your second line so here the lines are intersecting so these lines are called intersecting lines sometimes what will happen you will get two parallel lines means they will never intersect so these are called parallel lines sometimes you will get line on the same another line on the same line means two line having the same coordinates so this is called coincident lines so what happens here it is intersecting at one point so we will get one perfect solution so how many solution here one solution here it is not intersecting so no solution and in this condition we are getting many solution infinitely many solution from this again we can say here we are getting a solution so it is called consistent here we are getting many solutions so again this is also consistent and we are not get, getting any uh, point here so this is called inconsistent Here we are getting one, but here we are getting many solutions. So this is consistent also, and this is also called dependent. So here graphically we can find out. This is the first method for finding the solution. This is called graphical method. Now without drawing also, without drawing also, we can directly find whether it will intersect, whether we will get parallel lines or whether we will get coincident. So for that what you have to do? You have to just see the first two equations and take out. First you have to arrange it in standard form. This is the standard form. Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Number with x is called a. Number with y that is called b and the single number that is called c. And from that this equation we will get a1 1 b1 also 1 and c1 is minus pi from the second equation we will get a2 2 b2 3 and we have to arrange it in standard form so minus 8 c2 will be minus 8 then what we have to we have to divide this a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 then we have to check whether we are getting a1 equals to upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2. If they are not equal, means if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, means that will be intersecting line, one solution consistent. You can say intersecting lines. When? When we will get a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. In the next condition again we have to check if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 then we have to check with this c1 upon c2 if it is not equal to 
c1 upon c2 means these two are equal and this is not equal to them then again this second condition parallel lines no solution inconsistent here we will get parallel lines and then again we have to check if these two are also equal and this three this c1 upon c2 is also equal to this all three are equal a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 all three are equal then the third condition coincident line infinitely many solutions coincident line so here we had learned that with this we can find out intersecting parallel and coincident line and this is the graphical method for the solution there are three such methods other than this they are elimination cross multiplication and substitution method i had made different videos on that and i will give you the link in the description please see to it now here after that they will give you directly that in that two equation infinite solutions are there and find the unknown variables a and b sometimes what they will give they will give you that here we are having no solutions and find k when infinite solutions are there they will give you two unknown variables and when no solutions are there they will give you only one solution here if they will give you two we cannot find out so every time when no solution is there only they will give you to find one solution and here they will give you to find two solution look what we have to do this is one of the most important question every time in board you will get out one out of these two so we are going to solve here we are having infinite numbers of solutions so what will be there a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 now what we have to we have to put the value a1 is 2 a2 is a minus b b1 is 3 b2 is a plus b c1 we have to arrange it in standard form so this will become minus 7 and this also we have to take on this side so this will also become 3a plus b minus 2 we can directly cancel it but we have to every time arrange it now we will to cross multiplication of these two and then these two and then we will get two equations and we are going to solve look here i am doing cross multiplication of these two 2a plus 2b is equal to 3a minus 3b you take it here 2a minus 3a is equal to minus 3b minus 2b minus a is equal to minus 5b minus minus get cancer a is equal to 5b result number one now we have to multiply this two 9a and then 3 into b plus 3b and 3 into minus 2 minus 6 is equal to 7a plus 7b now take this all on this side 9a minus 7a plus 3b minus 7b minus 6 is equal to 0 you can find take 2a minus 4b minus 6 is equal to 0 now put this value instead of a put 5b minus 4b minus 6 is equal to 0 10b minus 4b is equal to 6 so 6b is equal to 6 b will become 1 now put this one here so a will become 5 into 1 5 so this way we can find out two unknown values but infinite numbers of solutions are there at that time only we can find out two otherwise we have we can find only one look here here they told us that in this pair of linear equation you are having no solution so a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but is not equal to c1 upon c2 for no solution so we are not going to take this we know this two are equal so we are going to take this only now look here what is a3 a1 2k minus 1 is equal to y is 1 and this k minus 1 instead of b2 now cross multiplication 3k minus 1 sorry 3k minus 3 is equal to 2k minus 1 now take it here 3k minus 2k minus 1 plus 3 so this will become k is equal to 2 now look here sometimes they will give you two equation 
having x and y in the denominator at that time what you have to do you have to just remove that x and y from the denominator and you have to take it in the numerator and then you have to solve so what we are going to look i am going to solve it what you have to suppose x 1 upon x minus 1 is equal to a and 1 upon y minus 2 is equal to b now we will keep these two variables here multiplying so i will get equation 5a plus 1b means b is equal to 2 and here i will get 6a minus 3b is equal to 1 look here now we had removed variables from the denominator so the, now we can solve these two equations by elimination substitution or cross multiplication whatever you like i am going to solve by elimination look here this will become 15 a plus 3b is equal to 6 and this will be 6a minus 3b is equal to 1 so by adding this two this will get cancelled 21a is equal to 7 so a will be 7 by 21 1 by 3 this will be our a now we have to find b by keeping this in any of this equation i think i am going to keep it here why because 3 will get cancelled that's why 6 multiply with 1 by 3 minus 3b is equal to 1 1 into 2 now take this 3b 1 minus 2 minus 3b minus 1 so minus minus get cancelled and b also equals to 1 by 3 so generally what students are doing they are finding this and they are telling this is the answer no this is not the answer we have to find x and y so what we have we have to put this with this look here I have, we had taken 1 upon x minus 1 is equal to a so instead of a 1 by 3 now we are going to do cross multiplication 3 is equal to x minus 1 take this minus 1 on the other side 3 plus 1 is equal to x so x will be equal to 4 this is our first variable and now we know 1 by y minus 2 equals to b i think yes b so what is b b is also 1 by 3 now again cross multiplication 3 y minus 2 3 plus 2 is equal to y so y will be 5 so this way we can solve this also and many word problems are there in this chapter upstream downstream questions are there i had explained that word problem upstream downstream in detail in one of my videos i will give you the link of that video in the description and word problem in all the word problems you have to use your brain because they can twist this word problems and give ask you in examination so that you have to do by yourself and thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this